In today's video, we're going to be looking at what might possibly be the best four port lipo charger that you can buy. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Troy. This is Roadside RC. On this channel, you'll see us doing everything from bashing, crawling, drifting, racing, plus product review videos and how to's. And that's exactly what we got going on today. So, as with any kind of thing with RC, you need the quality parts to help back up what you're doing in order to get you ready and get out there and have fun. One of the biggest things that happens is as you start to have multiple vehicles, you have so many different batteries you need to charge. If you're like me and you're a, you know, you're a father and you're going out and I got two boys going with me, that means immediately we're at minimum charging three batteries at a time, right? And if we're out bashing, you know we're gonna go through multiple sets. Frequently, I am in the need to charge multiple batteries all at the same time. And so I really quickly get to a point where you can either have multiple small chargers all running together and kind of in a mess, or you step up and you just get one of the bad boys, one of these big four port chargers that can charge four batteries of different kinds, different chemistries, all at the same time. So when you need those four ports, when you need to charge all those batteries, you need something like this. Let's get this thing out of this box and see what it looks like here. So obviously we got our instruction manual, we have the charger itself, nice nice and beefy size, but not, not crazy heavy in case you need to carry it anywhere. We have, I'm assuming in here, all of our balance boards and charging ports, which is super nice. We're out of the box, we're powered on, everything works fine. You hook up your battery leads into the bullet connectors, you have balance ports, you have enough to do all four of them straight out of the box. It does give you majority Dean's connectors, plus here is an XT60. Obviously, you need to get the adapters for whatever type of batteries, whether it's a Traxxas or XT's or Dean's or whatever it is that you're using, some of the IC3's and 5's, whatever it is you're using, you need to get those in with the balance with the bullet plugs in order to put them on there or you just need to solder ends on here it's really nice that's what i typically do is i keep these and i either solder new ends on them or i buy these what i call octopus tails that have all sorts of different ends on them so that way no matter what vehicle comes in to the garage i have something that i can charge with it now one of the big deals is why this charger okay so why would i pick this one there's a hundred chargers out there you can get chargers all the way from fifty dollars all the way up to something like this it's in the two hundred dollar range why would i pick this one over a lot of the other ones and it really comes down to the features and what i want it to do and how i want to operate with it so a couple of the first things this does run on AC, of course. I have it plugged into my house. It'll also run on DC. So if you are out and you do not have a plug, you can put it in, you can wire up for uh, DC input and then charge everything off of it. That is very handy when you're out traveling and adventuring like we do. It'll do 110 and 220 volts. So depending on where you live, you can put the higher voltage to it. But really the super critical thing with this charger is really what it talks about right here and on the spec sheet on the side. So you have to be, you have to be really, really careful when you watch um, some of the companies and how they market their chargers. They'll give you a four port charger and they'll talk about it being a 100 watt or a 200 watt. But sometimes those watts are shared over all four channels. So it's basically like one charger and one power supply that then feeds four channels. And so what that means is that if you need to do anything, if you're putting four batteries on there, your amperage and your wattage really goes down for how much it can charge. This charger is a true four times hundred. So each one of these channels actually gives you a full hundred watts out of it. When you look on the side, um, charge power, hundred watts, discharge power to 10 watts. So when we're charging, you can go all the way up to 10 amps. 10 amps is a lot. A lot, a lot. Even if you're getting into um, like some big 8,000 milliamp batteries and stuff along those lines, that's a lot of amperage to try to put at something as 10 amps. That'll charge a battery really, really fast. But the other piece of this is the discharge current. So the discharge current will go all the way down to five amps. And the real reason that's important for me is a lot of the times I will charge a lot of batteries, maybe especially if I'm going out crawling. Right? I'm going to drive an hour. I'm going to be going to Big Buddhas or someplace like that. I'm going to be doing some crawling for an hour, you know, and I'm going to be away. I don't want to have to charge batteries while I'm there. 
So maybe I bring along three or four fully charged batteries. Maybe I don't use them all. When I get back home, I want to put those at storage charge. And if they're all sitting there at 4.2 volts per cell, it's going to take them forever at 0.1 volt to get down to storage 3.85. With this, the fact that it can discharge it up to 5 amps is awesome. It'll bring those batteries and put them back at storage charge really quickly for you. The other thing to watch when you're really comparing versus other chargers is how what cell count will they do and if you look at this one it actually does say that it'll do a one to six cell it actually gives you the balance port to give you all the way to a six cell battery there's a lot of chargers out there that won't so be very careful when you're looking at your charger specs because if you can't charge all the way up to that six cell and maybe you're running a single six cell in your arma creighton or something like that you're going to be in trouble. Charger is going to be useless, right? So make sure you make sure when you're looking at it that you can get a charger like this one that has up to that six cell capability. Okay, now let's check some of the features that we have here. So we can actually select your typical lead battery, NICAD, nickel metal hydride, the high voltage lithiums, the life, you got the lithium ion, you got the lipo, right? So that's what the majority of us are going to be using is this lipo setting. But look at this. It also has internal resistance testing, battery meter, and then user settings. So you can actually program a bunch of different things in here for this. You can actually, once you have it programmed, you can actually load in the different um, parameters that you want. So if you want to save different ones for different batteries that you're charging, you can do that. Um, digital power but so we're going to come all the way back around here to our typical lipo battery and i have a 8000 milliamp 3s from a wanfi here plugged in so i'm in through plugged into the balance port plugged in xt90 right here that's what i'm using with this one plugged in xt90 to my octopus and so then what we're going to do is we're going to come in to the to this and it's going to detect that it's 3s but you can actually change that on your own if you come in one so you can actually increase or decrease to whatever it is. Obviously you want it to match, otherwise you're gonna be in big trouble. So there's the 3S. You can set a milliamp hour limit on it. So since this one's an 8,000, we're gonna run it way up here. So this is my 8,000 milliamp battery. So it's gonna suggest that it charges it at a one amp rate, which would be eight amps. So we could certainly do that, right? This charger is more than capable of it. You can actually, again, bump it all the way up to 10 amps if you really, really want to. I wouldn't, I think I'm gonna leave this thing back down here at eight. Actually, you know, if I'm honest with you, in, in my normal charging, I always honestly just leave it normally at something like four amps, but I'm usually also not much in a hurry for charging either. So, um, but yeah, once you have all these parameters fixed here, hold the button, it checks to make sure that everything's fine and then it takes off and you can see uh, amperage that's going in so it's charging at that 8 amps you can see the battery is sitting at 11.8 volts currently um, this is a timer for how long it's been charging we are on balance mode and it is looking at uh, how much milliamp hour we're putting into it now if you hit the incremental button up here it'll actually show you this is how i always watch it I always watch it at what are the individual voltages per cell so that I have an idea of what this thing is sitting at. Or you can pop it back around to here. So the other thing that we can change, so I just turned, I just turned it off by hitting the uh, mode or escape button. This stops the charge. The other thing that we can do while nothing's highlighted is you can actually go to storage charge if you want. You can go to a full discharge. You can go to a non-balance charge, which I don't recommend. Or you can, of course, do balance charge, which is how I will be using this almost all the time. Really, the only two that I ever use is I will use balance and I will use storage charge. So if I come in here now, again, 3S, I can tell it that this is the 8,000 milliamp battery. And then it's going to recommend, see that 5 amp discharge. That's as far as it goes as a 5 amp discharge. And so I'm going to hit it again here and it's already back. So it is beeping and telling me that it's like, Hey, wait a second. We're all the way back there already. It got there very, very fast, didn't it? 
so that's the two options that you really have. That's what you would use on most normal basis for all LiPo charging. So this bad boy, I'm really excited to give this thing a thorough workout. I'm gonna get all my ends hooked up, but this is really truly high quality charger for those of us who really do need to charge a lot of things at one time. And we wanted to be able to charge different things too. There's a whole thing out there you can research about parallel charging where you're charging multiple batteries at the same time off of one, but ew, that, gets, that can get a little sketchy. I can do four different batteries of different types and everything all at the same time safely. And safely is really where it's at, right? I mean, when, we, when we're, please be careful with these LiPo batteries. They're not just ticking time bombs waiting to go off, but if you misuse them, if you mishandle them, they can be damaged and they can present to fire danger. Fortunately, this thing will put in some scenarios where it'll tell you if you have a short. It'll tell you if you've put in the wrong cell count. It'll tell you if you forgot to plug in the balance port. It'll do all of these things and help to keep you safe. So it is really, really important buy a good quality charger for your lipo batteries please 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 just just do it um this is the one i'm going to be using i've the reason why i'm so confident in this one is i've been using its older brother for years now so over on my charging stand i've had the previous model of this one and it's i've been i've had it for easily three four years now and it has been going really really strong um it's time to upgrade and i'm gonna i'm gonna put that other one out as a gift to a friend and so this is this is what we're looking at i really have a, have a bunch of trust in this charger and do highly recommend it um so i'll put a link down below if you're interested you can go check it out but please be safe with your lipos Consider what you want to do. Consider what your needs are when you're out there looking for a charger for your uh, RC LiPos and be safe, have fun, have fun with RC. Now I'm going to get working on some other videos. In the meantime, please for yourself, please come over, check out some of the other videos that I have made already in the past. And I really appreciate all the support you give to the channel. It really means a lot to, to us here on Roadside RC. So thank you very much. We'll talk to you later. Goodbye.